family. We're so glad you could join us today. And uh, I know it's really, this is Thanksgiving week, but what we're going to share with you are what to do with all the leftovers after the big day. The big bird has come and arrived and everybody's enjoyed it. And then you go, what am I going to do with all this? There's not enough for everybody. There's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little bit. We're going to show you some really interesting ways to make those, that little bit that you have go further to feed a crowd. So um, even to a dessert, if you just have a little bit of pumpkin pie left over, we're gonna show you what to do with that too. First of all, I wanna tell you about how thankful I am, particularly this year, because of God's goodness in my life. You know, people always stop on Thanksgiving and I think it's a wonderful thing to give thanks to the Lord uh, just for all his goodness to us, but Thanksgiving is not a one day a year thing. It's an every day of the year holiday, it should be. Our mouth from the time we, our feet hit the floor in the morning, our mouth should be full of praise and thanksgiving to God for a good night's sleep that he gave us another day. And just let thanksgiving be a, an attitude of the heart. not something you put on one time a year and say, okay, I did my thanks for the year, it's over. I don't think so. I think it should be something that we recognize and realize that without God's help in our life every day, life would not be worth living. So let's adopt an attitude of gratitude and let's make it a concerted effort. In the times that we're living, we need to be thankful for everything that God has done for us. Thank God for every dollar and dime that we have, for everything that we have. Every good and perfect gift comes from God the Father. So I'm just asking you to think about that and proclaim that to your family on Thanksgiving and every day this coming year. Stay with us right after the hint. We're going to get started with some yummy turkey dishes. We'll be right back. Here's today's at-home hint. Always remove all turkey from the carcass when Thanksgiving dinner is over. Keep the white and dark meat separated and wrap in plastic wrap, then place in a Ziploc bag. Refrigerate immediately. This will keep the turkey fresher longer. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, Thanksgiving, Patty, you're here with me. Nice okay. to see you. And we're gonna, we're gonna really make some interesting dishes today. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Okay, this is called hot stuffed potatoes. And we took six nice big Idaho's and we baked them for an hour cut them in half, and we cleaned out. We just want the shells, and here's the potatoes, okay? Now you're gonna make a cheese sauce, right? Right. Okay, tell us about the cheese sauce. Okay, for the cheese sauce, you just take two cups of shredded cheese, a quarter cup of milk, and this cream of broccoli soup. You cook it, mm -hmm. and then you put a cup of that into your potatoes. Okay, and then I see you have some broccoli and some right. carrots. And then Where you all that? add that into... And the turkey, And too. the turkey afterwards, right. And then this gets spooned back into, into the, the shells. Right, and then you bake it in the oven. Look, there's your potatoes, your vegetable, the turkey, everything, everything. all together, the cheese sauce. Perfect. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, okay, it does. go for it. Very good. And while she's doing that, the one I'm making is a wild rice turkey casserole. And I'm not using wild rice, so I'm going to be honest with you very much, but... This is what it comes like in the store. I had a little hard time. I said to people, is brown rice the same as wild rice? No. Is a white long, no, no, no. It's, it's wild rice. This is it right here. And Uncle Ben's is the best, I would think, to, to uh, use. Okay, so you have to cook it a long time. It's cooked in about 30 to 40 minutes with some water. So we cook that up first. Give me a spatula here. And what you're going to need is about three cups of cooked rice, which is this. Okay. You see how it's different? It's got the little dark grains in there. That's what, and it's like, uh, it's different, it looks, huh? Yeah, it looks really good, though. It, but it looks, it's very appealing, but they're yeah. different colors. You know, I opened up, I'm like, okay, do we have bugs or is this okay? <laughs> am I supposed to eat that? Yeah, am I supposed to eat there? Is this supposed to be crawling? But it doesn't. It's not crawling. Okay, and then to that... We have a one pound package frozen and this the string French cut beans that are cut. Now I had a hard time finding them, so God bless Laurie. She sat 
These were cut green beans, and she cut them all to be string. Now, could you use can, or would that just no, make it different? No, we want frozen, yeah. Okay. Because remember, you're doing this, and you want to drain all the water off, because they're thawing down, of course. Right. But that's a whole one-pound package. That's a lot. It is a lot, of, but I like green beans. So. Yeah, I do, too. That's one of Paul's favorites. That's one of mine, too. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to add about two, three cups of turkey. Now, let me talk to you about turkey. There are turkeys that you buy 79 cents a pound. And that's fine if that's what you have to get. But I had a hard time finding a turkey when I was looking for a turkey because we, this is before Thanksgiving. We're doing this, and the turkeys don't come in until November. So I'm saying, OK, where are we going to find a turkey? There's a place, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, it's called Pounds, P-O-U-N-D-S, turkeyfarm.com. There's a phone number, and there's also their website. They gave us the most beautiful turkey. When I roasted that turkey, those bones were pure white. No additives, no pri probiotics, no nothing. Just wonderful, wonderful turkey. And so thank you so much, Pounds. We appreciate it. But they're not just there you know, in the uh, Leechburg area. They distribute all around the Pittsburgh area, so look for them. But we have just some chopped up turkey left over again. And I'm going to mix this together pretty good. What's not to like See, about that rice? That good already. Yeah, rice, turkey, and beans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks real good already. I just thought these would be easy to put together because you don't have a whole lot of turkey left and not enough to feed. This is going to feed a few people, but that little bit of turkey would not feed all those people. So I'm glad for that. Now, one jar Alfredo sauce. Oh, can't go wrong there. <laughs> I'm telling you. Excuse me, one minute. Let me get in here and get that little skinny. Let's see where that's at. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, it is. I think you got it. Yeah. yeah. Get one of these little skinny jobbers so you can get in there and get it get all on. out. Just like that. Oh, yeah. What's well, not to like about that? And it's something quick you could throw together. Yeah. Now, this is going to bake for 45 minutes or so. But you just, everything's cooked in except the beans. So you just want to bake it until it's hot and bubbly. Then put a nice little salad with this. Piece of crusty bread. Oh, that'd be great. Hello, what's not to like about that? Just think it's delicious. Well, and you want to make sure you have your mm -hmm. casserole there. Get this all out of here. I told you I've been having my kids over fairly often. Uh huh. You know, for special whatevers, and that would be nice for them too, because it sure. feeds a lot, and they're all bigger kids now, so they they like stuff like this. They now. like stuff like that, and they all have big appetites. <laughs> so you might like want to double this with them, Patty. Yeah. There might be a need, because I know how Andrew likes to eat. Yeah, it's Sorry, true. Andrew. <laughs> it's true. He does. He's a good. He's a growing boy. Twenty he's what? Eater. Four years old. Twenty-four. Yeah. Twenty-four. He's a growing boy still. Okay. All right. So we're just gonna mix this up. Okay, Patty. I want to lose your potatoes for you. 350 degrees, that's the oven. No salt, no pepper, you don't have to do anything because this oh, how stuff nice is, is that? seasoned, yeah. Well, the Alfredo sauce has everything. It has all that stuff yeah. in it, so you don't have to do it. But you want to make sure that this is well combined. I think you could probably make this with regular rice. I haven't tried it, but. I'll say why not. Yeah. How are you doing over there? Good. I got my sauce. Got your sauce melted. ready? Good. You know, I got to put about a cup of it in. Okay. There we go. Look how nice that looks. Yum. That does look good. Doesn't that look good? When it looks that good raw, yeah. you know? Yum. Hmm. It's going to be good. Going to be good. Now. This cheese sauce looks good, too. Yeah, it does. And that was easy, wasn't it? Heck, yeah. Sometimes when you make this stuff all from scratch and you have to make the roux and all that other stuff, it can be intimidating. Well, I think that's why we don't want to do it, because it's too hard to do. Yeah, it takes too much, but this way is a great way to do it. Absolutely. Okay. This is going into a preheated oven with 350, and I'm going to help Patty do hers. We're going to come back in just a minute with a whole lot more ideas for leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. Stay with us. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? 
then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of at home, and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Okay, we've got casseroles in the oven. Right. The potatoes are in the oven. My wild rice casseroles in the oven. They're going to bake about 45 minutes or so. Hers only bakes about 20 minutes, 25, just so they get hot and bubbly because everything is cooked in there. Right. Now you're going to do the turkey noodle, noodle soup. soup. Right. This is so simple, Patty. I oh. love this. What you got going in here? Just the chicken broth. Okay, right, so no, we have a couple. In there. Now, I'm making more. This recipe calls for just four cups. I'm making a whole lot more. So you'll just go by this if you're only, this serves four people. We have to serve a whole, the crew, whole lot you know, more. the crew. Yeah, hungry people. Oh, ravenous. Okay. So, and this so, is simple. You have your broth, and then you just start tossing adding, in okay. all your stuff. Do we have that up on as high as it'll go so we can get it to a boil? Looks like it's about ready. Yeah, yeah, it is as high. Okay, let's talk about what else is going in. Uh, you have peas, pimentos, which I thought was really different, and give a great color. A uh, little garlic, which I love. Onion, minced peas. onion too, very, very finely minced onion, which right. adds flavor, lots of flavor. Uh, turkey, turkey, um, celery, salt, some pepper, salt. That's it. And because we always have leftover gravy, wonderful gravy. We're going to add some of that. If you have that, fine. If you don't, doesn't matter. But we're going to add a good chunk of that to make that because nice that's going to make it really enriched. And anything that adds the flavor, like a, a sauce or a gravy, right. anything you have left over, add it to your soup. Now, does that need to be warm, or can you put it in no, cold? No, you can put it in cold. Just drop it in there okay. after you have the other things, before you do the noodles, because okay. she's going to do some cooked noodles right. at the end, too. Now, what I'm going to do... I have some leftover stuffing, see? And you know how you have like a little bit extra that you have that you just didn't get to, uh, to finish put it into right the now. bird, as they say. So uh, it baked, but now it's kind of dry. I don't want to just put it out like that. So what I'm going to do, I have some warm water in this bowl, okay? And I'm just going to take some of this, and I'm going to add it into the... You want to thin it down is what I'm trying to say. Because when you thin it down, it's going to make that wonderful dressing, stuffing, whatever you call it. It will make it so good. I'm just going to pour that over top of that. Oh, and we're going to idea. pop that in the oven also. I'm going to take a little bit more. Okay. You want to use your whisk to get all the lumps out of it. Hey, Patty, I'm going to set this over here just for you. Makes you want to have leftover gravy to do all this stuff. Oh, I know, huh? I know, this is for sure. And then I'm just going to pour this right over. And when that bakes in the oven, oh, I'm going to tell you, that's going to be great. I think that's enough. So the rest of this you can use in your soup. This Perfect. and this, okay? I'll use the broth too. Okay, want to pop cool. that in the oven for me? Sure. Leave the lid off because we want it to get hot and bubbly. Which oven did you want this in? Uh, put that in the bottom oven, bottom I think. Oven? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, while she's doing that, I was thinking, what could I make that would be something that, like, everybody loves turkey sandwiches. We do. Yes. I oh, mean, that's, but, but after you've had a day of turkey sandwich, and you're like, okay, now what am I going to make? Well, I have some beautiful turkey left over, and you want to cut some nice slices. You want to get some beautiful... Croissants. All butter croissants. These are so good. And these are, we just cut them in half, like so. Okay? That light airiness, you don't get that heavy breading, you know, that you do right. with a sandwich, you don't get that. But I'm going to make a little something special for this. We have some cream cheese that's soft. You have to have this nice and soft. Orange marmalade. Oh. I love the flavor of this together. That yeah, would be good. Just mix that with your cream cheese. What would not be good about orange marmalade yeah, and you cream could cheese? Do that all by yourself. I mean, you I'm could telling eat that you. Oh yeah. Just by itself. Then we have some pecans, just some chopped pecans. Okay. Oh, that looks wonderful. And we're just going to mix this together. See, I'd be spooning that. <laughs> <laughs> just this in a cracker yeah, would be that good. Yeah, that in a cracker would be great. Yeah. See, I would like that on crackers Toast, too. Toast English muffin. Mm -mm. Anything. Let your imagination just whirl, you know. Yeah, I, I hope that you, you uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I do. I know that it's, 
important to Patty. I'll be with your family, right. and I'll be with my family. And every year, there's always things to be so thankful exactly. for. Don't ever get out of that gratitude, that heartful gratitude, or get away from that. And, and teach your children. You know, God is good. He's all the time good. Do we understand His ways all the time? No. Should we? No. Because His ways are so much higher than our ways. And He sees the whole picture, not just today or yesterday. So it's important not to question or to just, just trust just Him. Just be thankful, right? Yeah, and be thankful every day of the year. Okay, so now we're going to take that wonderful spread. And I'm going to spread this on both sides of our croissant, the top and the bottom both. That's we have, the, is it in there? Cool. Everything's in there, yep. Okay. Ready to go. And then we're going to do on this side too. If your kids don't like pecans or if you don't like them, if you'd rather have walnuts or almonds, that's what I like about things like this. You can change it around. Now, after you do that, then you're going to take the piece this wonderful turkey, yummy yummo, like so. Does this look good or what? Oh, that looks amazing. I mean, this is mouth watering, right? Okay. Then we're going to add a nice piece of leaf lettuce. And then how about that leftover cranberry sauce you just don't know what to do with? Oh, my. I'm the telling you. It's getting better and better. Just spoon it on. I love, you know, I, I've done this for years. I have put cranberry, the leftover cranberry, on, on my sandwiches. If oh. I just have a plain old... Whatever. Oh, my goodness, it's so good. And it looks pretty, too. I mean, <laughs> it really does. And when you eat it, it tastes so, so good. good. Then you're going to put your sandwich together just Look like that. Look at that. that. That's gorgeous. Is this pretty or what? It is pretty. And you know what? Say like the day after Thanksgiving, like my aunt and my cousin used to come to our house all the mm -hmm. time. And we always had them the day after Thanksgiving because they couldn't come on Thanksgiving Day because they had to go to my uncle's families. But they would come and we would eat stuff like this. And my mother would make something special. And it was such a treat, but it was continuation of the family. Yeah. Right. And when you can just make some things like this that quick and that easy, using up leftover stuff, mm -hmm. Why not? So that's what I thought this year. You know, everybody, we've done the turkey how many times? Exactly. And I just thought, let's do something different. Here's what you can do with your leftover goodies. Now, when we come to the dining room table, I'm going to show you what to do with leftover pumpkin pie. We'll be right back in just a minute. But first, here's how you can get today's recipes. In fact, the whole month's worth. We'll be right back. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right, no subscriptions. They're available online at no cost and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. You know, Patty, I think this table looks as good as some <laughs> Thanksgiving tables. <laughs> I it mean, really the does. beautiful color. Look at that. Let's start down there with our stuffed, hot stuffed potatoes. All we did, we added all the cheese sauce to the potato mixture, put the stuffed the potatoes, and then put cheese on top, some cheddar on top, a little bit of paprika. I'm telling you, those are awesome. Next to it is our wild rice casserole. Can't wait to try that oh, one. That looks great. And the smells in this kitchen is incredible. Mm. There's our tangy turkey croissants. And that's got that wonderful fresh turkey in there and the cranberry sauce and that spread that I put on the top and the bottom of the croissant with the marmalade. Oh my goodness. Just oh. want to eat that by the spoonful. Oh, yeah. Forget about it. And there's the leftover stuffing I told you about that we added some gravy to. That's real moist. It comes back. That real adds more flavor, that little bit of gravy. And then let me just show you it here. That soup looks so good. Look at this bad boy right that here. Looks this is our turkey. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Oh my. Delicious turkey noodle soup. Full of good, full of deliciousness. And you know, you can make a big pot of that. Freeze some of it. If it's too much, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Then I told you I was going to tell you about the dessert. Look at this. This is leftover pieces of pumpkin pie. You can see here, little Cool Whip pumpkin pie, Cool Whip 
pumpkin pie, just cut them in little cubes, little Cool Whip on top, a few little pecans, and a sprinkling of cinnamon. Oh, and you incredible. have pumpkin parfaits. Oh, yeah. And you know what, this made six. So if you got six people, Perfect. the next day you have, a, this is pretty awesome for just leftovers. I thought that was a good idea. We've added just a nice little salad just to round it. I'm telling you, this table is full of all kind of goodness. And our hearts are full of goodness because we're so thankful for what God has done for us. Yes. This has just been an awesome year, it's hasn't been it, Patty? Amazing. It has you know, been. we've gone through trials and testings and troubles. Who doesn't? Because you know what? That's part of life. But what happens to you during that time depends on you and what you're willing to let God do for you. So please be thankful this season. And let's not get caught up in all the commercialism of the holiday, the Christmas that's about to come. Let's just keep our focus on He is the reason that we have what we have today, Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter one bit how often we go to Him with our prayer, our cry. He never turns a deaf ear. So happy Thanksgiving, family. Happy Thanksgiving. Be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you. We'll see you here at home again. Bye-bye. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.